the legendary KDX 200 trail bike. What's up YouTube? Just thought I'd shoot another video of uh, one of my other interests, uh, trail bikes. I've been dirt bike riding for a long time, but I recently just got back into it and uh, I, uh, <laughs> I got this dirt bike from my dad, this Kawasaki KDX 200, 1987, air-cooled, two-stroke. This was my first uh, dirt bike, my first real dirt bike. I think I had it when I was like 17 years old. I rode it for a couple of years and then uh, my dad kept it. And uh, it was just forgotten about. We, we dirt bike ride a lot. Uh, we go to Carnegie, uh, Prairie City. Well, anyways, I just kind of fell out of it. And uh, about, I would say a couple of years ago, I started getting back into dirt bikes again. But this was like, I don't know, it's been like nine, ten years. And uh, I was talking to my dad one day. I was like, you know what, it'd be cool to find another one of those uh, old KDX 200 dirt bikes. And he's like, you know what, I uh, I still have that one you had. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you can have it. <laughs> so he kept that dirt bike for like eight or nine years. It, it didn't run. It just sat in the shed. Uh, it was in really bad shape, but I was like, yeah, I want to, I want a little project to do. So I took it, uh, tore it all down, down to the frame. I painted the frame. I got all, all new plastics for it, a new plastic kit. I got, uh, a bunch of parts on eBay. I got a front brake, all front brake assembly, a lot of used parts, whole front, uh, brake assembly with the the caliper and everything line uh, all new plastic kit new fender new front headlight shroud nice seat this is original kdx 200 seat i think it was off of 1988 in like really nice shape almost brand new condition it's original um, all new plastics new tires used rims i got some used rims on ebay and uh the motor was in good shape. Uh, I painted the motor. That was pretty much the only thing that was in decent shape was the engine and the frame. Everything else I pretty much replaced on it. I painted it with some uh, barbecue uh, spray, barbecue paint, supposed to withstand high temperatures. Um, I, I spray painted the exhaust pipe too. But yeah, I mean, these these uh, dirt bikes are awesome. Um, it just brought back memories. I uh, went dirt bike riding a couple more times with my dad, and yeah, it was just fun to get back on this bike again. After all these years, I just cleaned out the carburetor, um, changed the oil, the spark plug, air filter, uh, put some fresh gas in it, and just uh, kicked it probably eight or nine times, and it fired right up, and it was idling. It was like it, <laughs> like it was it was running the day before. It's crazy. These bikes are so <clears throat> reliable. You can just count on them. They're just incredibly well-made dirt bikes and they're getting hard to find, like especially in this kind of condition. It took me a while to get it to look like this. It took a long time. A lot of work. I basically tore it all down to the frame and the motor and you know, painted everything and replaced all the parts that uh needed to be replaced. But yeah, it's just a awesome little trail bike. They just don't make them like this anymore. And if, you know, it's not like the the best bike out there. I mean, if you want like a fancy dirt bike, you know, go buy a KTM or something with like super nice suspension and power and everything. But I mean, this bike, it'll still get you where you want to go. It's, it, I went up a steep trail at Carnegie and it just pulled right up it. Awesome little bike. I don't think I'll ever let this one go. I thought about it, but I was like, eh. I just have too many memories and sentimental attachment to it. I just don't think I could part with it. But yeah, it's just awesome. And then while I was doing it, I just happened to find this 1991 KDX 200 on Craigslist. It didn't look like this when I got it, but uh, I bought it from some guy uh, sitting nearby me and uh, got it for 800 bucks. And mechanically, it was all there. Really good condition. The motor was strong. He did the top end on it piston and everything suspension was okay it needed fork seals so i had the fork 
front fork seals replaced and uh, new fluid and everything. I put brand new tires on it. I got those Michelin Battlecross tires. Um, he gave me a new front headlight with it, so that came with the bike. Um, the plastics were in okay shape. These are actually the plastics that were on it when he, he gave it to me, or when I bought it from him. Yeah, awesome little trail bike. I, I think I like this one better. It just, it rides better, the suspension's smoother, the power's more linear, and it just seems like it has a little bit more power than that bike, but that bike's awesome. I mean, not much you can go wrong with the 87 air-cooled two-stroke. Just change the oil and the air filter. You don't have to worry about coolant or anything. That thing's awesome. The headlight, the lights don't work on this one. I need to get lights going on it. That's pretty much it. Everything else is solid on it. Um, I replaced the Kips pin. It had a broken, that power valve right there. I had to take the clutch cover off and replace the pin. I guess this little arm right here, it, uh, it actuates. So when the, there's a little governor that spins in here. And once it gets to like 6,000 RPMs, it turns and it opens up this uh, valve in here. So it, there's like a chamber and the exhaust is in this chamber at low RPMs. And then once it hits 6,000 RPMs, the governor kicks in, <clears throat> it twists this rod and the pin pulls the, the little uh, valve. The valve closes, closes off those chambers and it directs all the exhaust gas out the exhaust pipe for the top end power. Pretty neat little design. Just a air-cooled two-stroke with a power valve. It's pretty awesome. And uh, this bike, I, I love this bike. I just put brand new tires on it, those Michelin uh, Battle Cross. Has front and rear disc. <clears throat> this bike just has the drum disc brakes. But yeah, awesome little little 200 cc trail bikes, two strokes. Pretty good power too for it just being a 200. <clears throat> but this one, it's like riding a Cadillac, this 91, compared to this one. This one needs a little bit of suspension work. I just gotta, I gotta get the rear monoshock uh, rebuilt on it or something because the suspension's a little harsh. And that just might be the way it's, you know, it's just an old bike, old school uh, technology. But yeah, I just thought I'd shoot a little video of one of my other, uh, one of my other hobbies, dirt bike riding. And uh, I'm going to upload more content. I'm trying to build my channel here. And uh, there's other things I'm interested in. I like uh, a lot of different uh, other topics that I want to review. I want to start reviewing uh, different items. Like I just got this uh, Ontario Knife Company knife. Awesome little knife. I'm going to do a tabletop review on it. If you don't know about it, check it out on Amazon. It's got really good reviews. Really good knife for the money. Ontario Knife Company. But yeah, I want to do a review on that. Tabletop review. And uh, I'm also going trout fishing on Monday. So hopefully I get some footage uh, of that. I'm going to go to Don Pedro Lake and do some trout fishing. Um, so hopefully I get a little bit of footage of doing that, catch some trout, and I will uh, see you guys later. All right, bye.